Hey guys, how's it going? Marcelo here, and we have just exactly a month left until Crash and Sand Trilogy comes out, so there's some extra stuff I wanted to show you real quick. So let's start, get right into it, with Warp's pause screen. It looks really cool, it's very reminiscent of the original. Um, I like how they're, instead of having, so in the original, you used to be able to press, I think it's like a triangle or something, to scroll between how many crystals, gems, and relics, and power-ups you have. Well, now they're all conveniently on one screen. Um, I'm wondering if there'll be, um, like a lot of animation going on in the pause screen because there was a lot of animation going on in the original, so it made it feel more lively and not just all static and everything, so, um, I'm just wondering what's gonna happen with that because these aren't actual, like, crystals rotating around or gems rotating around, they look like pictures, so I'm wondering if the pictures will glow or something, uh, they kinda seem to, the, the clock for the time trials seems to be kind of glowy looking, so I'm not too sure about that. Next we have the save and load screen, so again, very basic, I wonder, if there'll be any kind of animation going on on this screen, so, um, not much to talk about. I think the lights will be glowing, you know, intermittently and be sw uh, switching between the three on either side, so, um, again, very basic, very standard, not much to say about that. Now, one cool thing to note when in the Tomb Waiter level is that we get a good, nice, clean, clear look at the new and improved icon for the Akuaku crates. Um, as you see right here, originally the Skylanders Akuaku was on the box for the icon, but now they've made a new one that looks very reminiscent to the original, and it's a lot bigger as well. So um, it pops out, you can see it, it's, you know, just like the original, really cool, and that's kind of it. Next we have a bunch of pictures of other levels that aren't the main four that we got um, revealed to us in full. So funny thing, in other gameplay videos people would accidentally step on the other buttons and we can see some screenshots here and some quick glimpses of the other levels such as right here we've got Bug Light. I believe this one's supposed to be Deep Trouble. Right here we've got Dynamite. Uh, this right here is Flaming Passion. Next there's High Time along with the Purple Gym. Mad Bombers which I'm actually really anxious to see and I want to see uh, Bye Bye Blimps as well. And then we have Road Crash, so that's pretty cool. Now this is pretty cool. Shout out to at Koala Kong, who originally found this and posted it up on Twitter. Uh, we've got our first Easter egg. So on the license plate here, you can clearly see it says 9617. So obviously, Insane Trilogy is coming up this year, and Crash 1 came out 96. So this is a really neat Easter egg right here. Next up, we have two gifts that involve Coco and Crash in the Time Twister. So this one's really funny um, and really nice. Coco's got her own version of the Crash Dance. And right here we see Crash doing his classic spinning the bump of fruit on his finger, throwing it up in the air, and then it falls on him. And Coco actually laughs at that, so that's pretty funny. So seeing as she's reacting to different animations that Crash does, I wonder if she's got different reactions to different animations. And that's nice attention to detail anyway, so that's really cool. So this last piece of info is very, very interesting indeed. So Kara Macy was part of this interview, and she was asked about multiplayer and how people would, uh, back in the day, just since it's a single player game, pass the controller around to their friends so they can all have a go at these levels. And she said something very interesting about how we could potentially get an actual multiplayer mode. As you can see right here, it says, We hear from fans all the time saying there was a lot of passing the controller back and forth around your friends and family, and that's something that's really lovely about this game. It's actually quite social. As far as actual multiplayer, that's a little bit wait and see, and let's see what comes from us. So she seems to be teasing some kind of multiplayer-esque feature, and that's very interesting. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. I don't have the source on me at the moment, but I do remember Kara also saying something about cut content. So that might be another tease. I think she was subtly teasing that they might have in fact put Stormy Ascent and some other different levels in the trilogy as well. So that's very interesting too. But that's it for right now, so we'll have to wait and see what else gets revealed to us, if anything, right before E3, and then we'll see what gets revealed to us at E3. Maybe a new demo, new levels. I have no idea, but it's very exciting. We have one month to go, and the hype couldn't be any more real. So thank you guys for watching. I'm Marcelo. I'll see you guys later. Take care.